A new study released this morning is giving us one of our closest looks yet at the urban heat island effect where some parts of the city are a lot hotter than others. And if you've lived in Atlanta for any number of summers, you feel it. When you step outside in the center of Midtown and downtown, the concrete, the asphalt, the skyscrapers, you feel that heat radiating off the pavement. But if you step outside the center of the city, maybe towards the Beltline or strolling through Grant Park or Piedmont Park. You feel the breeze in the trees. You probably feel the difference. Well, Climate Central this morning released a new study that specifically looked at our city and the land uses in each U.S. Census tract. You see how there's a lot of different colors on this map. Now they broke down and figured out which parts of the city are hotter than others based on what the land cover is. So see those darkest areas over Midtown and Downtown. Those areas can potentially be up to nine degrees hotter than they would be if the land cover changed. For example, more of those tree lined streets or green roofs. Jen Brady, senior data analyst with Climate Central, said that the heat inequity can lead to even more health concerns as our climate warms. Climate change is raising the baseline, and what this is is additional heat on top of that baseline. So there's serious health consequences that can come from heat and particularly sustained heat. But there are small, tangible solutions that can be done now. Where can we put trees here? Maybe there's an empty parking lot that instead of just leaving it, you could put in some sort of permeable surface, something that's going to absorb some water, absorb some of the heat. One takeaway, if you are in one of those high risk areas, remember when you see the forecast for 95, 96, 97 degrees, remember you're going to feel even more of that heat. Pay attention to your body and the warning signs if you're working outside.